Welcome back to Latilidi. In today's Adobe Illustrator tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this skull grunge texture in Adobe Illustrator. It doesn't need any plugin or import any image into Adobe Illustrator. It's very easy to do. It only takes a few steps to make this grunge skull texture. Using this technique, you can create other, or more complex shapes such as a logo or even a face or more complex abstract shape. So without any further ado, let's jump into Adobe Illustrator. Create document with any size. Create rectangle according to the artboard size. Before I create this skull shape, I'm going to create a simpler shape first, to show how this technique works, so that you can understand it more easily before continuing to make more complex shapes. To create an effect like this, we just need a square shape or some other geometric shape, give it a gradient color, and it has to be gradient because this is the core point of this technique. And finally give it a texture. Simply that's all the steps to do. Okay let's start with the simples one. For this rectangle I will give it a default black and white gradient that in swatches panel. Open the gradient panel and change the gradient type to radial. Now we can give it a texture like I talked about earlier. Go to the effects menu. Texture. And grain. In this grain panel over here. Set the intensity by 45. Contrast to 100. And type to vertical. And just press the OK button. And here we are, we just did this effect with the simplest. Cool isn't it? The cool things about this technique is we are still possible to modify it. Open the appearance panel. Or you can open it in window menu and look for, appearance. In this appearance panel we can get information about the, appearance that contained in an object in this case the rectangle that we created earlier. There is information about stroke and fill. And here, we have filled the fill with a radial gradient, and the grain effect itself that we have added. There is an eye mark whose function is to enable or disable the appearance of this rectangle. Let's try to temporarily disable this grain effect, and modify the gradient. Open the gradient panel and set the gradient annotator like this with three color stop. And when we go back to the appearance panel and reactivate the grain effect again, and this is what we get. We have different result than before. It's look like the O shape, and the grain effect gives the impression of a grunge texture on the white to black transition. And the cool part is, we can still change the grain settings again if we feel the texture is too contrast. The trick is that we just open the appearance panel again. And click this grain FX. Just for you to know that if you still see this effect in the appearance panel, it means you can come back again to change the settings for the effect. Just click this grain, and it will create a grand panel. We can see a live preview here. And here, you can play with this intensity and contrast. I think we just need to experiment with this intensity and leave the contrast at 100. And if we still have a contrasting transition texture, we don't need to do anything else here. Just click OK on this grain panel and return to the gradient panel. On this gradient panel, which we previously used to create the shape of this grunge texture, we play with color stops here, we can add, or subtract like this. And to play with the contrast, we just change the color in the color stop, or change the color gradation. For example in this color stop, I change it to gray like this. And you can see the result will follow the color we give. That's if we give it a monochrome black and white color, but what if we give it another color other than black and white? You can see the result is more satisfying. I think you already understand the concept of this technique, just play with grain and gradient. So the next question is, what about more complex shapes like this? How do we make it? And what we need to solve it? The answer is, just play with grain and gradient. So in the next part, I'll show you how I made it. I'll be using an example of this skull texture that I created, and have made video shorts about it and all the sample textures using just this technique. And it's the same as I showed earlier, that part of this texture only consists of grain and gradient. In the appearance panel, I'm going to disable this grain FX first, to see the gradient of this skull. And this skull is just one object with gradient color. So to make gradient like this, we use, freeform gradient in gradient panel. 
You can find it in the gradient type over here. And to modify this gradient we need to click this button, Edit Gradient. There are two types of freeform gradient edits in this panel, namely points and lines. You can use both to create a gradient like this. On this skull, I use points on certain areas only, and use lines to create the skull shape. And if you already know how to use freeform gradient you can skip this video, but if you are new to this freeform gradient you can continue watching this tutorial, because I will show you how to use this freeform gradient. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments. The first step as usual is, create a new rectangle by using rectangle tool. And this is what we will get if we have used gradient before, just ignore it. And activate the freeform gradient. By default, we will get 4 points in each corner, it doesn't matter because we can use it in this project. To edit these points, we just need to select each of these points and move them. Besides that, we can also change the radius of each of these points by using this widget, just move it like this. Or you can modify it with numbers in control panel overview. You can change it here and it's easier. Next, I'll give these four points a solid black color. Just click on it, and select color in the swatches panel. Now, I'll draw the skull using the lines on this freeform gradient. Using these lines is the same as using the curvature tool in the toolbar. Click to create a start point, and don't forget to pick a color first, before continuing to create another point, so that we don't bother to color the points one by one later. Click again to create the next point. The line between the points will form a curve line just like the curvature tool, and the color will follow the color of the first point. Just create another point to create a skull shape. It doesn't matter if the shape is not as expected, we can go back to editing each of these points when we finish closing these points. Close these points by clicking on this start points. After the basic shape is finished, next we make the inside of this skull. Create another new point. Give it a lighter color, and follow the outermost shape of this skull. Before finishing this skull, I'm going to give it a grain effect first to see how far we've come on this gradient. Go to the effects menu. Textures. And grains. Fill the intensity with 65. And the contrast remains at 100. And click OK. By giving it a grain effect first, we can see the result immediately and we can control its shape as expected. Although the result is not perfect, but at least we have got the silhouette of the skull. We just edit it again and adjust it until we get the expected result. After getting the desired result, we will give it details like the eyes and nose. Create another new line. For this eye, we only need to give him two points. The first is a darker color, and the other is a lighter color. To close these lines, just press the escape key on the keyboard. And continue to make the eye on the other side. Do the same as the previous eye. Because on the part between the eyes it looks like they are blending, so we need to add another new line to cover it up. Create first point and pick lighter color, same as with the skull base color. Now, we just need to make the nose shape. Do the same thing just like making the eyes, but this time make the arrowhead shape like the shape of the skull nose. If we get the same problem as before, we just make another line as a separator with a lighter color. Now we have got the silhouette shape of the skull, although the result is not so perfect, at least you have got how I created this skull texture using only grain and gradient. The advantages of this freeform gradient, we can go back to fixing the shape to get the expected result, besides that we can still add more detail or give it another color besides the monochrome color as I show here. 
The rest is up to you to experiment with this technique. You can freely create other shapes apart from this skull. I hope this Adobe Illustrator tutorial is helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to this channel, and don't forget to like or share this video. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments. See you in the next video.